we're gonna do another round of shout outs here. So I've picked three. Part two. Yep, part two. And uh, we just run them. We're not doing editing or anything else, so it might be a little rough here, so bear with it. Um, but uh, I picked three, Austin picked three. Last time I tried to get some people that were smaller, and there's some small and some bigger ones mixed in here, so it's kinda mixed up. But one thing is there was this cool invention that I got, I got a show when I was bouncing around looking at some of this stuff. And this is something that I would invent. I swear to God, I could see myself building one of these things. And Austin, uh, if you knew me, you would probably see it too. So go in here, get a, get a picture on this. You got it? I'm only going to play a little bit. Can you see the screen? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. All right, this backwards here. You catch your fish. Dan took me to a local lake to see his fishing cannon in action. It didn't take long to a assemble what? and connect the compressed air tank. <laughs> this is like the coolest thing ever. That's it. Good job. I pulled out the molded bait, and Dan helped me attach it to the fishing line and stuff it down the barrel. Now grab this, and what you're going to do is go forward as quick as you can. So I'm going to say three, two, one, and you're going to go. Yes, sir. Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> Isn't Thanks. that thing cool? If we live near the ocean or something like that. Yeah, but how would you reel it in from that far away? It takes the line with it. Wait, what? Yeah. You hook the line, you take your bait, and you freeze it in like a bullet-shaped mold. You load it in, and it launches it out, and then you just let it melt in the water. And the cool thing is you can mix it up with chum, and when you freeze it, it chums the water to draw the fish in as it melts. If, if we were out near the ocean, see, that's the fishing pole. It takes the line out with it. So anyways, that's a blast. And the cool thing is, I found these things on for, uh, for sale, too. Hang on. Are you going to buy one? If we live by the ocean, I would. Right here. You can buy it on Amazon for 500 bucks. We work on commission, by the way, if you wind up selling a bunch of these things. But it's called, uh, what is the name of this thing? Yeah, Bunker Up Fishing Cannon. For 500 bucks, I highly doubt that you could build one cheaper than that and still get a warranty or something. So that's killer. <laughs> if we were by the ocean, I would seriously buy one of those. Okay. So anyways, moving on to the shout outs. I just wanted to do something different. I was thinking about doing inventions. Okay. Here's my number one guy. I'm not sure how you pronounce this, but it's... The Elsinore Gardener, I'm not really quite sure. But we've been having some trouble with our avocados where they were kind of a little bit iffy. And I want you guys with gardening channels, I sent around seeing if anybody would help with any advice or anything like that. Nobody answered. This was the one guy who actually came forward, answered, tried to give me a little bit of help or whatever. So I give this guy a thumbs up. Uh, I watched some of his videos. It seems like a pretty cool guy. He's basically doing the same thing we're doing with the avocados. Yeah. I haven't watched all of his videos. I don't know, but he's got probably as many, if not more, than we do. He has, and he has 822 subscribers. Yeah. No, 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 no. Not subscribers. I'm saying avocado trees. Oh, oh, I'm like... How many avocado trees That's like has? a That's a huge gap. I don't know what you're talking no, no, about. No, 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 no. But he's not like a, he's not like a mega channel. I mean, he's, he's, you know, he's a guy doing his thing in his own backyard, kind of like what we're working on here. He's probably been doing it a little bit longer. Anyways, he just seems like a good gardening channel. He was willing, you know, kind of working for a little bit of this community thing. He was willing to kind of reach out, try and offer some help. And he had nothing to gain. I mean, he didn't get anything out of it other than trying to help somebody. So that's the kind of people that I'm sort of looking for. That's kind of cool right there. So you did zoom in and get his picture, right? I did. Okay. So I will move on to my next one. This is kind of going along with the pellet gun shooting. And this guy, I don't know how active this channel still is. This was an old video. But this is kind of with the pellet gun thing. I was just bouncing around. I guess this guy does like scientific experiments and kind of tries to have a little bit of fun with it. But one of his experiments was kind of cool is he took helium and he put a pellet gun in a bag and he pumped it with helium to see if the there was The one a right under the home button. What? The one, the video right under home. Okay. It's right there. Yeah, I have it in the window so you can see it. 
So watch that video. It's kind of cool. He basically, he, uh, he just tinkers around with the atmosphere uh, going into a pump gun to see if it makes a difference. And it did make a difference, but I won't spoil the video. But it was a pretty cool little experiment. So, you know, that kind of just goes with the shooting theme. And I think he has a pretty good channel for just watching odd little curiosity type things. And... It's my turn. Nope, I got one more. Oh, you do? Yep. I only saw two tabs. This is my last one. And this guy's kind of big, too. Uh, he's like 800 and something thousand. And in all fairness, though, when I started watching this guy, kind of on and off, um, I think when I found him, he had 50, maybe 100. I think he was still making money running around doing catering or something. But this is the type of guy who runs like a little chuck wagon and does these um, videos where you've got this big open sky way out in, like, prairies and stuff like that. Uh, so I don't know where he's from. I'm guessing, like, my... Montana, Wyoming, some some kind of place like that, but really nice looking country wherever he's at. But he gets these old fashioned fire, you know, wood fire, wood burning stoves or something, and he's got one of those country kitchen kind of things. I forget what they call those. I think they just call them chuck wagons. I don't know what else you'd call them, but old fashioned like 1800s kind of stuff. This would be the guy that if you wanted to take on a hunt or something like that, and Basically, you were shooting rabbit or deer or whatever. I mean, this guy, whatever you shot, this this guy could grill it up and you'd be eating it three or four hours after you hit camp. So he's an old-fashioned cookie, I think. And I didn't just find this guy now. I have proof. So if anybody's accusing me that we're just making this up, I've actually got proof. Get this. You got it in the video? Is it showing up? No, let me back up a little bit. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I've got it. I've used it. I think it's actually a pretty good cookbook. And the reason that I bought this, and the thing I like about it, is the recipes are pretty simple. They're kind of a guy's way of cooking. There's nothing real fancy in here like oregano and saffron and these weird spices that you don't run across. I mean, everything is like basic flour, cornmeal, stuff you have in your pantry or stuff you can get at any supermarket. And the cooking is pretty good. I don't know how healthy it is, but it's definitely tasty. Um, so anyways, I'd give this guy a channel. I think last, last, or give his channel a look. The last thing I saw was he was cooking up a rattlesnake. <laughs> he got it like his brother-in-law's house or something. So he's, he's definitely a different kind of good old-fashioned country cookie. So those are my three. You said that already. Okay, well, you know, like I said, it's one shot, one take. We're not doing this professionally here. Okay, so I will trade with you. All right. And you go do your three. Ugh. Okay. He only has 200 videos. Only? I mean, it's a lot of videos, but like... Yeah, you get to 800,000 subscribers no, and then you can saying, talk. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm saying that I'm, usually there's like a thousand videos to go along with that many. Okay. Okay, um... These guys are mostly like video game guys and tech guys. I'll start with... Hmm, which one should I start with? Okay, let me start with this guy. This is Kevin. He does like these... Okay, hang on. He does uh, reviews and stuff on games. Uh, mostly Switch and Nintendo games. Kevin uh, Kinson. Boy, this tripod is touchy. Eesh. Okay, I got him. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Okay. Keep on talking. But what's what, what's neat about this guy is that he doesn't only do Switch and Nintendo. He does PS4, Xbox. But if you're looking for like a solid review on something like tech or video game related, this would be the guy to go to. He has seventy thousand subscribers, and he's, this is one of my. Okay, this is the new guy. Uh, I've been subscribed to this guy for a while. It is, there's a better, in my opinion, there's a better guy, but he's still pretty good. This is the more child-friendly guy. Okay. His name is Antec. He's an ARC YouTuber. An ARC YouTuber? Oh, ARC the, the game? Yeah. Okay. I was thinking like ARC welding or something. I was like, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, never mind. But, yeah. Syntac. Syn, yeah. Okay. <laughs> He has like a, he's not like from America, so he has kind of a weird... And his whole channel is pretty much about doing art mostly? Uh, yeah. Oh, pretty so much. that's cool. Okay. 
he does other games like occasionally, but it's very rare. It's kind of funny or more information kind of channel. I mean, it's just kind of a. I would say more of an information channel on the of, game. Kind of like tutorial it's, it's type like, things. It's like a mixture between both, because okay. like most of his videos are him tr- taming weird crap. Okay. Uh, then there is James Key. This guy's on the larger side of YouTube, but he's more of like a game comedian. He's. I wouldn't really recommend him if you're trying to find a super clean channel, but otherwise he's okay. Yeah, I he's mean, just he's kind of he's moderate. And he has two eyes. S K I I. Yeah. I'm like, okay. of course he has two eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, are you dumb? Of course he has two eyes. Yeah, he's got two eyeballs. No, I meant in his name. He has double eyes. Does that Mario yeah. have a gun? <laughs> <laughs> I can't zoom in anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Mario's got a gun. Because he does. Is that what he has? <laughs> oh, man. I was like maxed out on the zoom. That's as much as I could get into it. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Well, if there was any doubt we were then, live, there it is right there. <laughs> and then there's the boss baby with the pickaxe. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Boss baby? Where's the boss baby? Oh, it is boss baby. Huh. <laughs> okay. It's overgrown boss baby. Like a weird Amish kind okay. of... Okay. But that's everyone from me. Okay. So, well any back. any particular person you want to say, like a shout out hi to that we didn't do a future on the video, or you have anything um, that you want to say at the tail end of this? How about we just say, thanks for watching our show. Um, don't subscribe to this absolute, I'm just kidding. Oh, God. I'm just kidding. He's a great guy. <laughs> okay, just say thank just you. Thank you for thank watching you for the video. Thank you for watching, and, uh... <laughs> What did they say again? <laughs> Smash the like button. <laughs> okay. I'm See you later, guys. Bye. Hi. I just realized that we forgot something. So we forgot like a really important thing. The whole reason why we started this channel up in the first place. We got to remember to start saying this at the end of our videos. Okay. Say hit subscribe or this new bell thing. Don't forget. Because we're trying to help support ADD and ADHD kids, right? <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. And turn on notifications so you're going to be part of the notification squad. And see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, and remember, this channel is about ADD help and ADHD help. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's the face right there. Okay. See you guys on the next one. Say bye. Bye. Oh, by the way, guys. Uh... We were a little light on making some videos this weekend because we were kind of doing some spring cleaning here, cleaning up the leaves around the yard, you know, that kind of thing, and uh, cleaning out Austin's closet. So these are basically going to get donated to Goodwill. The kids are growing like a weed, so most of the stuff sadly never even got warmed once but twice or some not even at all. So we'll catch up and we'll still make, start making some more videos for you. Okay, bye.